yesterday before we um, got on our Zoom check-in for Married to Purpose, I remember telling um, the ladies, I was like, I feel something feels off, something feels strange, something feels funky, it feels different. Um, many times, and I've shared with about this with my assignment, and I've um, spoken about this or taught about this as well, many times God will have you in a space where you need to get language and experience for it um, before he releases you to share what this thing is. Well, I say all of that to say what I was feeling yesterday, you may have noticed, maybe you feel funky. Maybe you are feeling some type of way and you don't have language for it. You don't have clarity. You don't know what this thing is. If this applies to you, um, the Lord was showing me this morning that many are dealing with, and I, I, I've gotten this, um, as a download for those for marriage restoration, um, the enemy is coming and trying to get you to nurse your grudges, okay? And if you think about nursing your grudges, anything that you feed will continue to thrive and continue to grow. So you may be getting thoughts. And I mean, the devil was even giving me thoughts, you know, as far as uh, years ago when my husband and I uh, first got together. You know, uh, we've been together for 29 years now. But years ago when we first got together, and I'm like, Holy Spirit, where are these thoughts coming from? So the devil is, he's looking for, um, he's not a creator, so he can't create things, but he uh, strategizes for new ways to attack you the same way, but different strategies, if that makes sense. So you may have gotten a thought about your spouse, something that they did, something from the past, something that was an old trigger, an old wound, something recent, something from years back. And you may find yourself kind of um, just feeling funky every time you think about that particular thing. Well, if this applies to you, he's trying to get you, the enemy, to nurse those, um, uh, what am I trying to say? I just lost the word to nurse those injuries, to nurse those wounds, to nurse those grudges. So even if it's a grudge that you've released your spouse from, something that they did, doesn't matter if they held themselves accountable for it because I said sometimes your debt being paid in full is the peace that the Lord gives you, that's your closure. But those old grudges may begin to resurface again. Do not nurse them. Right now is the time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You need to suffocate them. If you are realizing I'm I'm having these thoughts and I'm trying to take these thoughts captive, what the Lord is saying is now suffocate whatever that particular grudge is. Suffocate it so it doesn't you don't give it life because if you give it life, it's going to thrive, it's going to grow, meaning it's going to continue, it's going to get bigger. There's going to be a pressure with it, like one, another giant that you're just feeding and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger because you're nursing the grudge. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love that the Lord, this is why, and I, t I teach this on Married to Purpose as well. <clears throat> and I think I mentioned this to one of my clients just the other day. This is why it is so crucial to stay at the Lord's feet whenever you're up against something. Because many times we fight a fight the way we had victory in a previous season, meaning we're using old strategies and old methods and old ways, old weapons, right? That we're trying to apply to this right now fight. But if we're intentional, stand at the Lord's feet, Lord, this is a fight that I have not been in. And even if it is a fight that I've been in before, what are my right now strategies for this fight? What are my right now weapons with this fight? Because this could be something, if this applies to you, what I just uh, described about nursing old grudges, and you're just binding and rebuking. If you're not being intentional, this is something else that the Lord teaches you as we go from faith to faith and glory to glory. If you're not being intentional about what those intentional prayers need to look like, you can be fighting a battle with all the wrong weapons. But if you take that attack, take that battle, take that um, whatever that looks like back to the Lord, Lord, what are your methods to have victory in this? You already promised me victory. I just got to go through the motions. What are your strategies? What weapons do I need to be using? The last thing you want to do is come into battle unprepared, right? Or come into battle using weapons that aren't effective. Maybe they were effective last season and you're finding yourself overexerting yourself and, and wasting energy because you're trying to fight a new fight 
with last season's weapons. You're trying to fight a new giant with last season's instructions. You're trying to get through a new space with last season's downloads. But if you're not intentional with taking it back to the Lord, Lord, how do I overcome this fight? Give me the blueprint for this fight. This is why we need to always have constant communication with the Lord. You know, constant strategies with the Lord. Lord, what is my right now weapon? What is my right now um, strategy for this particular fight? So be intentional about <clears throat> petitioning God. Maybe what I just spoke about doesn't apply to you, but the part does apply of taking it back to God. What weapon do I need to be using? Fast, it may not be the weapon that you need for this particular season. Because if we think about scripture, when they tried to cast a demon out, <clears throat> I believe it was of the young boy. And the father came to the Lord, was like, you know, your disciples, your men couldn't cast this demon out. And Jesus was like, how long must I be with you? And they were like, why can't we get this demon to come out? And he was like, this type comes out, comes out by prayer and fasting. That would lead me to under the impression when he says this kind, this type means different giants that you're up, different struggles, different battles, different encounters. There is a, this type comes out by this way, right? So that would mean some of those giants, um, you don't need prayer and fasting for, but this particular one that you did, some of the giants, you don't need this particular uh, prayer strategy for, but this one you need to know, you need to be more intentional. And I'm just giving you guys an example that leaves the impression that there are different ways to uh, cast out whatever this demon is or to pull down this stronghold or to sever this connection, whatever that looks like. But we go into these uh, new seasons and these new spaces kind of um, not mature because, again, and that's all the enemy is banking on. He's praying on the fact that we don't get it right. He's praying on the fact that we don't tap into our power and our authority that the Lord has already given us. But if we're not properly using our weapons and properly using the tools and properly using the necessary strategies to overcome this battle, this particular battle now becomes a cycle. And now we are wasting energy and the, and the enemy is like, they'll never know, you know, what the true tactic is because they don't have that type of relationship with the father. But I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. So stay at the Lord's feet and always ask him, Lord, how do I need to fight this fight? I'm not worried about yesterday's battles or yesterday's strategies or yesterday's downloads. How do I overcome this particular battle here? If you find yourself nursing those um, old grudges, make sure you suffocate them. That is the strategy for this particular download here. I'll see you next time. Bye.